Welcome to Innovation Insights. I'm here together with uh, Kimo Rama, who's the VP at uh, Danfoss, and who together we worked with uh, when you led uh, Vecido, which was later acquired by Danfoss. So let's talk about collaboration, um, because um, let's go back to before the acquisition when you were the CEO at Vecido. Um, let's, if you can describe maybe one instance where you had a really fruitful collaboration with a corporate partner. And, and maybe you can describe what was good about that. Well, uh, I think that the, that, the, that the best part was that when, uh, when a corporate partner really gave me the help to get contacts and open the doors. That was really genuine and open and, and right. helped, helped a lot on, on that situation. When you are in the small and you don't uh, have the business card of the big yeah, company, yeah, yeah, then, sure, then yeah. there needs to be someone who is there who has the connections and says that, okay, you, this is worth to listen. Right. That needs to be there. So Otherwise, did you have like a champion within the corporate that then yeah. opened the doors? Yes, but, yes, yeah, yes, okay. yes. So that was uh, yeah. more or less a, a really senior person who, right. who is there for, I think that he had been there for 40 years. Yeah. So he know everybody on there. And what motivated them to, to take that role? Uh, I, I think that that was a part of that, uh, that they also wanted to see yeah. the change. Yeah. That so long time and they really wanted to see that, hey, we need to get this change. And they right. of course saw the possibility right. with some new, uh, let's say, passion in, uh, in, inside. And then they wanted to use their right. uh, knowledge, who would be the persons that can internally help and who would be not the best so wow. they were almost willing to kind of disrupt yeah, themselves yeah, yeah. by bringing in open innovations yeah. from the from the outside. Of yes. course, you were happy to to help disrupt as well. Yeah, right? yeah that's so, of course the yeah. funniest thing that you can do. So <laughs> I'm I'm really happy to do it every time in everywhere. Yeah. So but yeah. but uh, but that needs an inside uh, a person who is already accepted. Right. Because you you yeah. can okay. if you come from outside okay. you are not known. It's yeah. it's it's you are just kicked out. But if that's a senior partner who comes in and say, hey, come on, guys. Now you need to listen to this and there is worth of doing. Right. Yeah. And we need to go for this road and we need to find how we are going there, right. not if we are going there. Right. And then it's accepted when there is a 40 year in the company, knows everybody and that comes from them. So once you got them excited about working with you, was it a supporting role then to provide all of the if you like the value proposition, the arguments for, as to why they should change. You, you weren't just pitching to them a product, you were actually yeah. helping them make that change internally. Yeah, uh, of course the, 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 the benefit on their side is that they get also the information right. uh, when they know that of course this company have published a product with the competitor. Right. And, and, and everybody of the small companies are yeah. quite open to tell that why we are good and there is not so many ways to do the good thing. Okay. Typically it's one yeah, thing yeah, that yeah, the company yeah, yeah. does well yeah. and when you know that you know why the yeah. competitor has that benefit with yeah. them. And then you can start to evaluate the market and of course you get the, get the knowledge back at the same time that it is quite easy to help the uh, young right. company or those yeah. entrepreneurs with the, with the inside knowledge that is not so crucial from, from that part. So you're an entrepreneur, right? You, you led uh, Vecido um, and, and Danfoss didn't extract the entrepreneur out of you, right? I mean, you're still entrepreneurial in what you do. You're, you were disrupting before, I assume you're disrupting now. How, how does that work and how, did, how does Danfoss foster that uh, within the way that they've integrated Vecido into the corporation now? Yeah, I think that they have a really fascinating and good model, what they call that it's inside agency. Uh, and right. and, and uh, what I have, I have my own profit and loss account and I have my own strategy. Right. So more or less internally, I still have my own company. Okay. I, I report the financials and yeah. I report the strategy and then of course I need to follow the processes for something. But generally, I still feel that I am in control of my future. Okay. And, and if, don't, wanna, if, what, don't other people in the organization want to be part of that or to work closely with you? Yeah. How does that work? Yeah, right? yeah. And, uh, I call it the hug of death. Okay. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> loves, everybody loves you so much and they want to work with you so much okay. that the resources right. of my side is never enough compared to the right. amount of 28,000 okay. people who wants to hug you. Right. Okay. And, and so, but that's a really good thing and, right. and it's really nice that how they have put it together and, and how the top management is looking after that. Yeah. Because they really want to change themselves when the when when the world yeah. is changing yeah. and and i think that they they they, ha they are in the really good road yeah. and it, i'm happy to happy to be part of that so does that help also with talent 
attraction and retention. So when you were the CEO of a company, lots of people wanted to be part of a small startup company, make their own way, have that little, uh, you know, their own culture within the, within the startup company. How have you managed to maintain that now within Danfoss? How are you able to attract the same types of talent who are looking for that special experience? now within this organization of 27,000? Yeah, I think that, uh, that that's probably one of the hardest things. Right. The fact is that when, when you are part of the corporate, yeah. then you are not seen anymore as a startup. Then the talents that want to be in part right. of the startup and want to be part of the yeah. success and, and, and have, have, are looking up to the, yeah, yeah, to the yeah, stars exactly. that have made yeah. it, they, they cannot do that. Yeah. And, and, and so you don't get as much of those. And okay. also when, when you put your op open position, it's just one of the, I think that we had, yeah. uh, when, when I started there, we had 400 open yeah. positions in 400. the corporate. <laughs> and then I had two of them. So how do, how okay. do they see that, the, okay. that it's different? And of course, the company is known from heating thermostats. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. So, so what we did, we decided to put much more out there than what Danfoss is now doing. Okay. That people okay. get a knowledge that, hey, we are doing the, the nice, right. Right. new things also that you should yeah, yeah, apply yeah. for us if you want to work okay. in this business. The other thing was, was good then because in startup phase then the, then the experienced person who wants stability they don't apply when you are a yeah. new company but yeah. now the, the amount of them was of course rising. Yeah. So I think that, the, that we are now able to leverage the company personnel from the more experienced right. people. So, yeah. so we get a little bit more seniority also what is needed okay, yeah. and they already understand the processes yeah. and all of that. So then they're merging slowly to one big version of yeah. wor working together. It's, yeah. it's much more easier. Yeah, yeah. So, so as we come to an end, I, I, I want to kind of recap on what we discussed. Uh, I think it's important. I mean, we talk a lot about the importance of collaborating with, uh, with between corporations and startups. Uh, that's something that um, uh, is a core belief of ours because we feel that they are uniquely placed to accelerate the uh, uh, adoption of uh, products from startups. Talent uh, retention and attractiveness for startups uh, clearly is different once you're post acquired, but it seems like Danfoss is uh, making good progress there. And um, and I think, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, very happy to have been part of the journey yeah. with you, Kimo, and uh, I'm really glad that it's working out uh, within Danfoss the way we, we hoped. I'm very happy that you were able to join us here uh, today. Uh, thanks, Charles. I was also super happy to be working with you, yeah. and, and hopefully we do something again. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. thanks. <Charles>. Cheers. <laughs> thanks.